I got a couple of questions regarding uh, the ceiling and if I weren't supposed to insulate it. And I didn't to begin with, but they did use something that is called uh, Le Rassoul, which is basically an insulation that you just spray into the entire ceiling. As you can see, there's a thick layer of the insulation all the way through the ceiling and it's approximately the same kind of thickness as this plywood board. It's also incredibly cold up here because there's no no climate, no fans, no heating, no nothing. We wanna wanna make sure that we keep the heating down here, but that's uh that's the goal. So that it doesn't go up there. Let's just close this. No more uh, cold from uh, the ceiling here. Be gone. Some of you might have seen uh, my previous videos where I built my studio and when I expanded the last part of the studio, which I called the lounge. As I was doing that, I had a lot of debate uh, with myself what kind of insulation that I should use. Because one of the most important things when you're building a space is to keep the heat inside and don't let it slip away. And as you can see here right now, we have the classic like glass fiber insulation. The downside though is that this is only 90 millimeters thick and it doesn't give us that good of an insulation when it comes to utilizing this space as an interior space. That is where this comes in. Pier by Fin Foam. It's not actually thicker than the glass fiber insulation. It is also 90 millimeters. But by using this kind of insulation, you're gonna get double the value against glass fiber insulation. So this board is basically the perfect insulation for a place like this where I have limited space and I don't wanna you know, make the walls thicker on the inside to lose out on square meters. So I'm basically going to remove all the glass fiber and then I'm going to replace it with PIR insulation. PIR by FinFoam. Can highly recommend. Oh, can you see the markings from the mask? <laughs> well, we're done. We have the pure insulation throughout the entire garage. We're gonna tape between all the studs so that this together with the tape creates a vapor barrier basically. Same thing as we got on the ceiling.
we are uh, officially done with all the walls. Uh, walls? <laughs> what do you call it? Vägg, uh, the wall, uh, oh, spread board or whatever you call it. Glesa. So now we are uh, basically just going to leave things for the electrician. And once they're done, we're just going to get back to it. I heard something really good the other day that kind of stuck with me and I thought I wanted to share it with you because it might help you in your journey as a YouTuber or whatever it might be. But it goes like this. Don't give people what they want because people don't know what they want until they see something that they didn't know they wanted. And for someone that is doing YouTube and, you know, trying to make different videos all the time, that is something that I will keep in mind for the foreseeable future. So many times that I've tried making the same kind of video over and over only to realize that people think they want it, but they've already seen it. So they don't actually want it, but it was cool back then, so they think they want it yet. Anyway, I'm gonna punch out now. Like it's currently 8 p.m. and it's a Sunday. 